There may be a need to adjust the roller bearings on your AccuSlice carriages. This may be due to a number of reasons. Perhaps just with usage, uh, you start to see a little bit of wobble in your carriage that needs to be replaced. Or perhaps it's just too tight going through the bandsaw uh, on, the carri on the rail. And you need to uh, make an adjustment for that. Or perhaps you dropped the carriage on the floor and shipped a, a bushing cover and it needs to be replaced. So it may be a, a need to adjust these bearings. If there's too much tension on this one uh, bushing, it'll be too hard to push the carriage to the bandsaw. If it's too loose, you're going to get a lot of wobble and you're going to get inaccurate cuts on your bandsaw. So it's, a, it's a, a compromise between you know how tight or how loose this should be. I prefer to have mine fairly tight, but not so tight that it's hard to push through the bandsaw blade. But these bushings are adjustable. Usually on the 12-inch on the carriage, there's one adjustable bushing. On the 24-inch uh, carriage, there are two bushings. These are easily adjustable, and I'll go through how to adjust that. Each of the carriages has multiple roller bearings. This is the 12-inch carriage. It has two fixed roller bearings that cannot be adjusted. They're just tightened down with a single Allen wrench on, on each of the uh, screws. This front roller is a, has an adjustable cam on the top surface. And if you look at this cam closely, you'll see it's up lopsided. And by rotating this slightly, you can increase or decrease the tension by moving this bearing in and out. It's adjusted by putting an Allen wrench in the top, another one in the bottom, loosening the bottom one, rotating the top one until you get the right tension, and then tightening the bottom Allen wrench. And that's all there is to adjust it. One other thing to note is there is a correct orientation of these roller bearings. If you were to replace these bearings, they do have an upside down and right side up position. And you'll notice that if you look at these bearings, and these two in particular, you see there's a small gap at the bottom of the bearing sleeve. And this should be the same on both of the bearings. Now in this one, I purposely put this other bearing on upside down. And you can see there is no gap at the bottom of this bearing. And if you were to put this on your AccuSlice system, you'll hear like a scraping sound, almost like metal scraping. And you know that something's wrong in the orientation of the bearings. So I just have to take this off, reverse it, and it'll work properly. This is a setup we use in our shop to adjust the roller bearings on the AccuSlice carriages before they're shipped to the customer. We like to adjust them if they're close to what you need, so most customers don't need to do any adjustments uh, once they install the system on their bandsaw. So we set the system up by taking one of my tables off one of my bandsaws and attach the AccuSlice index table and rail, this is a three foot rail, uh, onto the uh, system. And then we're going to be adjusting these carriages on both the left and the right side of this rail that overhangs the table. It's easiest to adjust it on the outside because you have room underneath to adjust your Allen screw. So we begin by first of all turning this offset cam so that the widest position faces towards this face of the carriage. That's the loosest position of the carriage. If I was to turn this 180 degrees to the thinnest portion of this offset cam, this carriage would not even fit on the rail on the AccuSlice system. It would just be too tight. So it's important that this be turned to the widest position. And this is the loosest position for this carriage. And then I go ahead and mount this on the rail. I usually use my fingers as a guide to like guide it in the rail as I'm going along. So it goes on you know, fairly easily. And now you can see there's a lot of sloppiness. But if all I do is just turn this slightly, that slop goes away. So what I need to do is turn this to a, a position I like, reasonable tension, and then tighten the Allen screw on the bottom. Now if this is too loose, it can actually slide off the table. That's too loose. So I need to tighten that a little bit more. This is the opposite extreme where it's too tight. That's too tight, so I want to loosen it a little bit. So it's a compromise. You want it tight enough that it doesn't fly off the rail. You want it loose enough that it moves smoothly and evenly along the rail. 
and minimize the wobble in this flat plate so you don't have you know wobble in your cuts as you're cutting them on the band so you want this to be nice and sturdy so that's pretty good it's not loose enough that it flies off the table but it's loose enough that you can slide it pretty easily and that's pretty much an optimum adjustment for this carriage Now this is the carriage I mentioned earlier that this bearing is on upside down. And you'll hear the difference when I put this on the rail. You hear that metal scraping? It's just, it's just not aligned. And that's because that bearing is on upside down. If I reverse that bearing, it'll work perfectly. So it's important if you replace those bearings that you get the correct orientation. This is our 24 inch carriage for the AccuSlice system. And on the 24 inch carriage, as well as our AccuSlot, AccuWedge, and AccuSled systems, there are two adjustable offset cams that need to be adjusted. This right offset cam would be adjusted on the right side of the rail on your AccuSlice system, and this left offset cam would be adjusted on the left side of the rail on your AccuSlice system. And again, by, I begin by adjusting these offset cams that the widest position is towards the plate on the carriage. And I do that on both sides. That's in order that the system will slide easily on the AccuSlice rail. Then again, I use my fingers as a guide just to slide that onto the rail. And you can see, I have a lot of slop in this now. And I usually start by tightening this one up a little bit just to get rid of the slop, and this one likewise. And then I'll do a final adjustment on this, just like I did for the 12 inch carriage. So again, I turn this offset cam till I start getting some resistance, and then tighten the bottom Allen screw. Again, I have a little too much tension there. I want to loosen the hair, turn this a hair, retighten it, and now I have pretty good tension. And I go over and repeat this operation on the left side of the carriage. Increase the tension a little bit so I can feel a little increased tension over what I just had on the right side of the carriage. Tighten it up because you want to make sure both of these bearings have some adjustment on, not just the one doing all the adjusting. And now we're pretty good. Doesn't slide freely, but it's not too tight and don't have any wobble in the carriage. So that's all there is to adjust these offset cams. First of all, doing the offset cam on the right side, on the right side of the rail and then doing this left side on the left side of the rail. And the reason we do that is because you know, it would be, be impossible to adjust these roller bearings in here. But on the outside of the uh, table, there's room down here below to get my uh, Allen screw in there to adjust it. 